Hello and welcome to the 2024 Southland Conference Beach Volleyball Season Previews. And I'm joined right now by two very special guests, head coach Alison Boyd and Sierra Land of the Boise State Broncos. Coach Sierra, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Yeah, thank you for having us. We're excited to talk to you. Well, we're all very excited for the 2024 Southland Conference Beach Volleyball season starting in just a few days here. Well, Coates, I wanted to start with you looking back to 2023. Obviously, didn't quite end how you wanted it to, the defeat in the championship game, but there were a ton of positives that you can take from that. So as you look back at 2023, what was your take on the season on, on the whole and how did that inform you moving here into 2024? Yeah, the 2023 season for us is the first time we've ever been in a conference. And for us, having the experience going into the conference tournament last year and making it to the championship match and almost being able to get that match brought, just put a lot more experience on our team, I think, going into this year. I think it just showed what we can do in this conference. Our conference is a really good beach volleyball conference, and we play at a high level. And I think it's really exciting to see what we can keep adding to our roster of course this upcoming year but see how much that experience from last year helps us going into the conference tournament this year in April and Sierra that game that final we just spoke about is one of the most remarkable games of any sport that I've ever seen I, I genuinely couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing half the time what was that experience like for you obviously the craziness of the weather in that championship tournament and rescheduling um, what are your memories of, of, of that tournament and, and how does that excite you for 2024 I think that tournament was one of the best experiences that I've had, uh, even though like whether we had to move locations, it was crazy. But I think as a team, we were able to like talk and say like, all right, like this is grind time. It doesn't matter where we are, what we're doing, like we're here to win and we want to do this. But it was really it was really a fun experience. I've never had a conference match before and we were in the finals like that was that was really awesome. Moving forward to to this year, one thing I did want to just uh, get your info on was your remarkably entertaining schedule release video uh, that you guys put out a number of months ago. I, I needed to ask you guys the inspiration behind that and and who was really spearheading that because it was a fantastic piece of social content. Yes, our creative director, Brody, was the mastermind of this video. And of course, I know Sierra was in it, but our girls were all about it. And when he came to me about this idea of like using the office and I was like, I'm a huge fan. So this seems like perfect for our, our team. So I rewatch it all the time because I think it's one of the funniest videos ever. And Sierra could for sure talk about just the process of filming that video for sure. <laughs> yeah, it was it was really hard to film because of how hilarious it was. But like we have like really funny girls on the team. So it was it was pretty easy once we got it down. But it was it was so funny. Really great acting, yeah. I have to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I rewatched it right before we came on now. So, you know, honestly, it was highly entertaining and, and just great to see that. So we'll, we'll put a link in the description so people can find it if they if they haven't seen it yet. Um, but specifically, Coach, obviously, the schedule release releases the schedule, obviously. And, and there are some big names on your schedule. So how did you go about building this year's schedule? And, and what was your intention with the teams that you selected? Yeah, the main thing going into building our schedule this year was because we have a lot of experience on our team. And I think we are to the point of we've been on the outside of the top 20 in the rankings the last couple of years. And I think we wanted to put those teams that are in the top 20 in our schedule to have that competition, see where we are this year. I think we have a lot of experience coming back and I think we're ready for that kind of um, opportunity to play against these top programs in the nation and see where we are. And I think we, we're ready for that. We had that mindset going into like, doesn't matter who's playing on the other side. We just want to play at a really high level at all times. But I think it helps preparing us not only against those top teams, but it prepares us going into the conference tournament because our conference is really dominant and I'm excited about that. And I think it's going to be exciting to see who's at the top at the end of the year, but it's all about who's playing well at the end. And I think the schedule that we laid forward is what's going to help us build to make sure we're playing the best at that time. Sierra, coming off a 25 and 10 season, which was the best in program history, coach has already alluded to the experience that you guys have in your locker room. And something that's really fascinating to me is how consistent your roster appears to be from last year to this year. You only lost one senior and all of a sudden it looks like you have a lot of returners. So what's the feeling like in the locker room right now with that 
tight-knit group, I assume. I think it's a really exciting experience with these girls. Like we have like a bunch of girls who stayed and know what the feeling is of being in these like high pressure situations and playing these conference games. So I think sharing that experience with all the newcomers is really important. And, you know, I really think the, all, everyone that came, the new, the new girls on the team, they really understand like, man, we want this, you know, so we're, we're, we're ready for that. Coach, what does it say about the program on the whole that you do have such consistency in your roster and, and the number of returners that you do have in an era of college athletics where change seems to be everywhere? You guys seem to be able to hold things together. I think the biggest thing is when we start recruiting these girls to come to Boise State, we, of course, want to get really good volleyball players. But how we get these girls to come here, it's, it's someone that's specific that wants to be at Boise State University. They want to not only get their academic and their, their uh, degree here, it's something special here in Boise. And I think it's for a special person that wants to be a part of what we're building as our culture. And that's um, someone that not only is a good volleyball player, but they're a good person. And so I think we have a lot of people on our team that really resonate to that. And they want to make something um, better. Like before, when they first get there, they want to make it better when they leave. And that's what we've had the last couple of years. And um, we're just really fortunate with the type of team we have this year that are just really motivated, want to be the best versions of themselves. But it's a very specific person that wants to be successful here at Boise State. Sierra touched a little bit, Coach, on the on the newcomers coming in and how how enjoyable it has been bringing them into the locker room and, and bonding with them. You just yourself alluded to the fact that it's a very specific type of student athlete that you're recruiting uh, at Boise State. So what exactly are you looking for? What are some of those intangibles that you found in this incoming class? I think a lot of, uh, I think not just only in this un incoming class, but just our, a lot of our girls on our team is um, people that just work hard for everything that they do. Um, we do have we have this opportunity to have a lot of different weather here in Boise, Idaho. So it's a specific person that's tough and they will play in anything. Snow is the best thing ever, I think, for us to get prepared for our season. But uh, it's someone that kind of has a chip on their shoulder kind of mentality, that blue collar mentality that Boise State, of course, represents. And I think we work hard in everything we do in all assets in our life, not only just a viable court, but like in our program in the community and in our academics. And so a lot of the girls that are for sure our freshmen and even our grad transfer, they they resonate to that. And I think that's who they are when they walk around campus. Sierra, Coach, just talking there about the newcomers and, and grad transfers coming into the program. When you see the level of talent that is around you, where are your expectations for this team this year? You know, like, I think these girls came in like ready to play and ready to grind. And I think that was a good thing coming in right off the bat and, you know, all through fall, they, they worked really hard. And so I think my expectation for everyone, including myself is to just keep grinding and know, like we're working up to our conference and we really want something which is to win. So, you know, like, I think just like keeping a level head all through season is really important. And coach, I wanted to touch on uh, another member of your coaching staff as well. Your assistant coach, Alex, was named to the 30 under 30 list of, of beach volleyball coaches this offseason. What does that say, firstly, about him as a member of your program, but also the level of coaching staff that you've built there at Boise? Yeah, Alex is an amazing coach. He is our X's and O's guy. He's the one that's really thinking about what else can we do better as a program. And of course, on top of all the other coaching staff on our roster, but um, he does a lot for our team. He's been here for a while. He has that experience, but he is just his mind of beach volleyball is amazing. And so we, of course, are very lucky to have him here and have that award is very special to him, but at the same time too, he always wants to keep being better as a coach. And that just motivates, I think everyone around him to be better also. And I think it's just, um, he wants to keep building and we all want to keep building this program to be the best that it can be. And I think that's what we have a lot of people that want to be a part of it, not only as student athletes, but also as coaching staff. Sierra, just lastly with you, I, I want to kind of get to know a couple of your teammates a little bit better, take us behind the curtain. And I think it's only topical based on the schedule release video that we kind of go in a Hollywood direction. So if you were going to pick one of your teammates who you really think could transfer from playing beach volleyball to being a star 
on the big screen in Hollywood, who do you think that would be? Oh, that's a good wow. question. That's a crazy question. Um, I think some one of the girls that has a lot of personality on our team has to be Ava. Like Ava has an insane personality. I love her. She she really just is she can be personable for sure. And she's hilarious. You like that pig coach? That's a good pick. <laughs> it was either her or Addie, our freshman. Yeah. They're very similar. They are so. very similar. <laughs> Well, we'll have to look forward to seeing if we can uh, get them to make a trailer for the conference championship, perhaps, when we get Ava, there. They will be all about it. Ava does have a little DJ board, so she'll be ready for it. <laughs> they're, <Wow>. they're... <laughs> the entertainment just continues to rise with you guys. Ah, that sounds great. Um, Coach, Sierra, thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat to us. We're really excited to see you guys back on the court so soon, and we'll wish you all the best for 2024. Perfect. Thank you again Thank for having you. us.